Alright, I might regret this. Especially after what happened last time. But still. Ooh. We have water. Right next to our base. Well, where our base is going to go, I suppose. Unless we don't want to go there, we could always move it up here. As long as it doesn't melt into the water, we should be fine. So, into the ground, we should be fine. So, let's just, um... Maybe build the small entrance way to our dungeon somewhere here. Now, I tried something rather interesting last time I played. First of all, I played with a massively larger in bark setting, so I figured you probably wouldn't want to watch uh, me playing Dwarf Fortress on easy mode. Um, still wasn't easy mode for the record. We, I still almost got killed, but I did learn some things. And they're things I would like to try and uh, bring back with me. So, I'm just gonna set up a very basic opening little salvo here. I don't know if this is the best place to set up my first people's homes. Probably not. But I can always change it to a bunkhouse later. Nice big grand opening entrance right here. And then of course we need to have a couple of stairways. Now I naturally want to go down a few levels. Because we want to get to the stone layer before we start doing some serious building. Alright, <clears throat> let's see how our fortune favors us. Now, you'll just check what these trees are. Purse melons, almonds, okay. Everything's edible as usual, so that's okay. We'll set up a lovely gather fruit area over a large portion of the map, um, just for when the fruit comes. There we go. We also need more miners. Oh, looks like they're actually doing the mine job anyway, but now we don't need to build. That's clay. Still clay. So, I think we need to go down a little bit deeper than that before we build our stuff. Let's just see, we're currently at elevation 3 is our default. So, let's try going down to, I don't know, around elevation negative 10. Look, like I feel like negatives already. All the other areas I mean it must be a lot higher. Hmm. I don't want to make up the amino base. Kinda of feels weird to give the dwarfs this, but oh well. It's okay. Hi guys! Here to force you do stuff because you're not currently doing it. You can also start cutting. Cut down anything that's nearby our base. Not like we need that to support the water or anything. We'll definitely need a lot more storage in this, yes. That's okay. Uh oh. Oh no, good, okay. We just hadn't dug that deep out. Yeah, it's fine. Don't stress, don't panic. Really does feel like perhaps maybe just a little bit that this area was not the best place to set my little first little opening area but that's okay I don't have to use these rooms for that I just want to go down deep enough that we can uh, access some that's still dirt holy hell it's still dirt 
Okay, we'll go down both to level 10. Should be said, I think I see some gems there. As this is my mining corridor. There we go, Dolomite. Should be said, there is some positives to having the clay. It's easier to mine, for one. Oh, Fudgy's in bauxite. But you also know bauxite's one of my favorite materials, so... There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so, what would we need? We'll need a crafting room. We'll need a kitchen. And we'll need a bunch of little rooms on the side that our people can live in. Because I don't want to give them those crappy rooms at the top. I'm a better dwarf lord than that. Oh good. Perfect size. I was afraid there I'd be one off and have to put a middle brick there, but no, that works perfectly. You know, it limits the amount of um, expansion I can probably do, but you never know. Who knows how long this is going to actually last. This first episode will hopefully not be dying, though. And, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to release this as an episode or not. I'm uploading the other ones now, but um, whether you end up seeing those or this, I'll never know. I mean, I will know. I specifically will know. I will be the one who upgrade, updates it, so. Ah, oh, that's such a nice little opening area, though, isn't it? Okay, now we're down this deep. So, you can dig outwards this way. And this way. There we go. This is nice. Bauxite, dol dolmite, I think that is. Dolomite, yes. Oof. Very nice. Okay, so first things first, crafting area, very important. I also will want more storage area as well, because, um, yeah. I think I need to force all the miners to do their job. There's a reason I bought four pickaxes and four miners, right? So let's actually take advantage of that fact. We won't want to use a forcing to do labor this whole time, but we will for the moment. Just till we've gotten a little bit of um, space. There we go. Totally overkill. Totally will take way too long to do. That's okay. What are you meant to be doing? You're a herbalist. You should have plenty of things to do. Oh, you're currently drinking. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say though, like we've got so many jobs going at the moment, you wouldn't believe how many jobs we've got going. We've got enough jobs that we should start unionizing. Which, grand isn't very high. You need to start unionizing in general. It's a good, good job. Good thing. Yay, unions. I see another quick green tourmaline there. Now, the strategy I used last time might be um, also known as the uh, coward's way. And that was that I made sure that I never stayed attached to... Um, to caverns for very long so nothing could really attack me from underneath i still found the caverns but when i did find them i closed them up so the enemies couldn't attack me and i want to see if that works in this mode or if it was just some quirk of the of the world i made before should be said the one time i did open it up i then got attacked by a horde of giant birds so in the end it was probably a pretty good idea that i did what i did Ooh, I do like sardonics. I'm gonna have to get those. I can place it with um, walls later anyway. It's fine. 
Alright, so now we can actually start building up stuff. Now, workshop is the first good bet. I like to put down my, uh, there we go. My carpenter. My crafts. And I also like to get my gem setter and my, uh, my gem setter and my uh, stonemason down straight away as well. I realize gem setters probably aren't the most important thing in the world, but I mean, I've found them quite useful. Should be said, if you earn too much money, it does seem like you get attacked. So, like quite regularly. Even on the peaceful difficulties, and this is just a default world. I think I may have tweaked, um, did I tweak? I think I tweaked something. I don't remember though. I think I tweaked my embark details. So I was doing a custom in embark, that's what I did. Let's start setting these territories up. So like the bedrooms. I still keep doing the individual bedrooms. I haven't tried making the dormitories as much as I thought I was going to at one point. It's just very handy. To know how many you've got. And I'm going to have more than I need because um, just the top has more than we need. So I won't need to turn all these into stuff straight away, which is good. Fantastic. The carpenter's workshop is done. So we can start building beds. And um, yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah, carpenter's workshop does beds. Now, I make the stone mason make doors. And obviously, the um, gem master, jeweler, is all about, you know, clearing up all the jewels everywhere. So there's that. Now, on the one hand, I do wish this game had far, like um, speed up, but then I know that if I did do it, things would go poorly for me. So, you know. Ah, I thought you were done. You're making a lovely pine bed for us. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ooh, that's a lot of gems. I'm glad they're not in my, uh, in my um, bedrooms. Is uh, these ones I can rebuild fairly easily, but bedroom ones suck because then if you need to use the bedroom, you sort of up the creek. I just expand this outwards this way a little bit just to prospect. Not that I'm going to be mining out of this shaft very much. Everyone not working. Nope, everyone's working. Everyone's got a job. Oh, that's some good looking resources right there. This um, place seems to be quite resource rich, which is lovely. I've had a few bad luck, a bit of bad luck with them, these before. Alright, let's also start moving some more of our stuff indoors before, you know. We might actually make some, some, some specialized stockpiles in here as well this time around. Just a couple. It's so, like I could have one for wood up here. And I could probably have... Should we... If we bring down those walls, we can turn all these into stockpiles instead of houses. There we go. And we might put finished goods up here somewhere as well. Maybe if I dig that room one more wider, it'll be a good finished goods door place. I might make it there so I don't forget it, which I will totally do if um, left to my own devices. Speaking of things I'll forget to do if I don't do them now. Um, not that I've ever actually seen them use these refuge bins. Like, but I should make a place for refuse and corpses.
Here we go. I definitely started this base a lot deeper than I was expecting, but uh, I couldn't help that the um, it took a while to get stones. I, mean, I guess Calmanite is. I mean, no, I think that counts as clay, which is useful as well because I mean we can use some um, some the, yeah we can use clay. how many beds we've made it's a good idea to put these down and get the bedroom sorted as soon as possible so we've only got two okay that's okay it's just to know because we're now at this point how much we um oh, we had more than two so we only had two in my inventory oh wow no we've got a lot more than two never mind actually got enough for almost everyone fantastic all right, now you can start having a cut gems task that we're going to be using now, and you can start building doors because everyone loves a good door. Now I will want to give my miners freedom again shortly, so I've got to make sure they mine out as much of this territory as they can. I might only give my freedom back to two miners though, that way two of them can still keep mining. Um, because I'd very much like to start building up and um, finding something of actual value. Like there's some iron, that's always good. Now, I did manage to make a relatively safe passage to the underworld last game. I'm hoping to be able to repeat that, but it definitely does come with some risk. For one, digging into caverns is not fun. Two, finding the lava is a luck-based situation. I mean, four of the beds are already up, and there's still there's still more there. So unless they're like half-finished beds, we should be able to put down some more beds too. This is fantastic news. Oh yeah, we got more than enough beds. Fantastic, just beautiful. Now, obviously this is going to be our kitchen space, so I actually don't mind if it is actually a little bit larger. So I will actually get these gems, and I'll actually build a space over. In fact, realistically, I could eventually make that into an inn anyway. Okay, friend, you can probably stop building that and start building barrels. I did bring some extra, but um, it's always a good idea to get plenty of barrels. Oh, wow, that did not take long. Okay. So, this is an example of one of those things we just talked and spoke about. And, whoa, we actually dug into it. Ha! Huh, that's hilarious. We dug into the cavern with our main base mine line, not even the Avamart line, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Now, what it does mean, <clears throat> of course, is that we need to cover up this pathway. Unfortunately, we can't just cover it up, is what I've noticed. Because if you cover it up, then it covers up both the up and down passageways. Now, you may not even need to cover it. I don't know. I don't know if anything can get through there besides spores and... I mean, say anything flying, I suppose it could. There's bats, and what the heck is that? The rodent woman. Yeah, we definitely do not wish to go into this cavern. Um, last one I went to had owls. This one has death. There's two, so... Fair enough, I suppose. That's okay. That is okay. A-okay. Because they can't get us do us up here just yet. So we will be able to um, protect ourselves. The uh, thing I'm mostly afraid of is another one of those horrors coming in. Because that last horror, I thought it closed up that cabin, but it wasn't enough. And I don't know where it came in. This time, and this is the key course of the coward strategy, is um, 
basically making sure that you don't miss anything in that regards. So you'll see what I'm going to do in a few seconds. Let's get a still. Actually, I get two stills. Because you often find you need more booze and um, you need food because A, dwarf, and B, they actually use use booze in cooking when you're cooking with the lavish or, or fine meals which is a little bit of a pain but um, I guess it makes sense you are a dwarf and you are digging a hole a fishery is also a good idea though it does fill up your um, space with fish carcasses and shells which you can turn into things in your crafting station but it, it's, it is busy it's a very busy job make any more beds before? give me one Fantastic. All right. So now, as you see, we have these two levels. The thing is, the thing is, is you can't actually dig back up as easily as you can down. So the easiest way I found to do this is just create an airlock like that, and then we just want to put a floor tile right there, and that will make sure that we are no longer connected to the top of this chasm. Now it doesn't matter in a lot of ways enemies won't be able to reach us now but we've still met the caverns which means that we will see in parts of our base such as you know this whole main area up here as you can see we do have floor fungus floor fungus is apparently not bad it apparently is just um basic pounds of grass which helps your animals not that we have many but that's okay speaking of animals we probably need to define that our animals can be friends because that obviously will mean that there will be Oh, we've already picked up a buffalo cow and a donkey. Okay, I definitely didn't bring them along with me, but I'll take it. Let's also run a few more. There we go. A few more gathering jobs as well. Everyone should be working at all times in this early section, except for obviously for doing other things. The diggers, they need to dig. Um, now, one downside of having that cavern means we have to get around it um, for obvious reasons, especially if we're going to close it up. We don't want to go down there, especially not with those bloody um, things there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my pass, my where I am here or here, can go through without a problem. Looks like, huh? Amazingly, it can actually go through without a problem, which is quite funny because when you think about, it, if I had just done that and went past the cavern, I never would have known that cavern even existed there. Not that I've found there's very much of use in caverns. It's just death. There are a lot of gems, but you can often get those just by mining in the inside of the um, cavern walls. So just using these massive pylons. Like if I go here, for example, I can go up here and gather most of this tetrahydrite and most of this tigerite. Okay, maybe not tigerite. You can always rebuild with um, fences. One problem I had was, though, you've got to keep an eye on the level here. So these are open space, right? So technically, it is safe for the most part to mine out this if you replace it with walls later. Problem was, I had a situation where I dug out into a section like this, which is the same floor level, which meant that all the baddies down here were able to pathfind down to me. There are literal birds down here. I know, this cavern seemed pretty great. Okay, but there's also spiders. You know, and, and there's also the aforementioned deaf things. There's a lot more spiders than there are. There's, there's a fair number of birds, actually. There's actually a fair number of birds. Hello, friend. Can I click on you? Or do I need to... Oh, apparently you're just a small creature. The cats will kill the bugs, which is obviously what was happening last time. But we're not really worried about the bugs. Let's be quite frank there. We're not really worried about the bugs. We might need to let go one of our miners so they can start building these things. What do our miners have as skills? They're proficient miner, proficient... Ah, they're only just miners, really. Hmm. Hopefully these guys will want to make a cooking area soon. Anyway, what I will do is, though, I'll make a meeting area on this side, which will become an eventual tavern. Not right now, though. And I will make a dining hall on this side. Now, dining halls do need some stuff built. 
So we will need to build a couple of tables and a couple of chairs and a bunch of mugs, which is something I didn't know before. So we're going to build a bunch of, bunch of chairs and tables and mugs. So let's build chair, 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 chair. And then we'll build a couple for the chair, chair. The other room. And you don't actually need need tables, but they do seem to like it. So we'll make a couple of tables too. Now it would be nice if the crafts area was done because I would like to build some mugs. But unfortunately we have not got the crafts floor yet. And to be fair, they are kind of doing something more important at the moment. Chopping gems and um, making doors. Doors are my friends. Doors really saved the day on that other world. So I definitely want as many doors as I can handle. Okay, maybe, maybe, okay, when I said as many as I can handle, I, okay, you know what, maybe you should just hold off on the doors for a little bit, um, however, we can still make some other things, or just let her go free, if she goes free, she might build, build one of the other sections, or she goes down to build this, hopefully, that would be best, because, uh, I'd very much like you to close up that cabin. Yeah, as you can see, we do have free-ish reign of all this territory here. So we still got space. I would never have discovered that cavern unless I dug into it, so... You know. Anyway, we can go back. We can still continue down, though, is the most important thing. And there we go. We are officially past the cavern. Dig down a little bit more is enemies are more likely to attack you when you're um, wealthy. Thing is we're not wealthy yet. We have very little in the way of um, resources. We don't have anything that's going for us. So as far as I'm understanding it, it seems like this is the best time to just go a little nuts. I thought I saw some resources I could mine besides those. Well, I saw some gold or something. Hmm. Be blind. I might be blind. Oh no. Oh no, there is this here. Not sure what that will become, because I'm now just mining it out like larger than I ever would have expected from this thing here. But you know, it's, it's, it's good shit. It's good stuff. Let's make a massive entryway or something. Or make our nobles live up there. Okay, is everyone still doing their jobs? Yes, everyone's still doing jobs. Fantastic. At this stage, you really want every single working dwarf on it. Oh god, I can't believe how far down I'm digging without finding another anything. But, I'm not going to complain because we want to get to the cave that has a chance of spawning lava. Now, what we want to do... Thankfully, dwarves are smart enough to stay up um, when they dig down and notice there's a giant hole there. Because um, if you dig directly to lava, you still survive, surprisingly. I'm expecting another cavern notification, but if we don't get one, this is um, quite useful for us, actually. Oof, 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 oof. Look at all that magnetite. Yes, please. Obviously, the stuff in our main area will keep as, you know, just spare resource for later. But, uh, yeah, it's all good. Now, hopefully, we've started to build a few of these chairs with a fair number of barrels, which is good. Let's see. So, we've got a few chairs, chests. So, I'm just going to put a chest chair down in each of these areas. They both will need one eventually. And, of course, one, this one will require more chairs because, well, yeah, why wouldn't it? There also is a chest, which I think I built, which is also needed in here. Good. Let's get rid of all this information. 
We're not really doing much in the way of preparing for winter, so I really hope it continues not rain uh, snow here. I still haven't seen snow even once so far. Well, they're trying to dig down. We've had some diorite, some chalk. I mean, I'm kind of shocked of how far I can make it down without hitting anything else, but okay. Alpha right. Yeah, we're definitely on the right level now. Hmm. It probably does mean there is a, uh... Because these are definitely, uh... Not underworld, but, like, very close to the underworld rocks. Now, in the last game, we did find what I thought was a lava pillar. But it ended up being a terrifying pillar of death. You know. That old chestnut. Yeah, I'll take all the zinc you'll, you'll throw at me, quite frankly. We could make um, lots of things with that. Not as much as like weapons or anything, but still. Let's dig this area up to... Ooh, marble. That's cool. Ooh, marble would look really good if it was polished. I'll just um, stop digging out in perfect squares and just uh, dig as I find it now. It'll lower the chances of me finding a uh, cavern. Which, quite frankly, I mean, I probably do want a cavern at this point, but... Uh... Oh. Oh, shit. Did someone... Oh. It's not me. They're fighting. Who'd they fight? Rodent Man versus Giant Olm. Well, fight of the century, I suppose. Thankfully, I was not involved because I did not dig into the cavern. Not that the caverns are worth very much, let's be honest. Oh yeah, get those gems. Get that zinc. Get that... Oh, it's cobaltite. Okay. Just regular stone. Okay. Expect cobalt to be used for something, but I guess not. That's okay. I was hoping it was um, I was hoping it's going to be some co um, some uh, coal, but apparently not. Oh, look at all this, all these gems, all this sulfurite vein. Good job, guys. Okay, this entire area is really quite rich in cobalt. And zinc, sorry. Let's go straight down there. And let's also dig a nice big territory here. I wonder where we'll, when we'll find the next cavern. The big thing is, I kind of want to dig out above the cavern, not into the cavern. So, like, if we're on the same same section, that would be bad. See, I do, it's not that I don't want to go down there and fight them. I will eventually um, do stuff like that. And, like, because realistically, if I did manage to, say, cordon off a section of it with a massive build, a, will, a wall around it or something, and actually get to, like, I don't know, like, support a section of um, cavern, that could be quite cool if I could work out how to do it. Honestly, I think I need to get a lot more builders before I do that, because that just sounds like danger. It's like... I thought this is cavern wall, uh, cavern floor, okay. I guess I am creating cavern, so... Yeah, you guys could go up and sleep. I mean, I appreciate your dedication to the goal, but uh, we do have beds now. You have been assigned beds, right? Alright. 
Now, hopefully someone's built the kitchen. Nope, no one's built the kitchen. Come on, guys. We need the kitchen and the still up, like, ASAP. Do I need to make a custom work detail for building? I think I might. Wall and floor construction, road building, and... I mean, I don't actually know what building comes under. I actually don't know how we can force him to do it. Oh, look at those gems. Sorry. Um, perfect wall. Oh, more gems. Oh, more gems. Oh, so many gems. Okay. I mean, I think what I've really got to do is give freedom to my miners, but... We're getting so much stuff. We haven't even really had to come up for so much as air in ages. Waiting for any signs of the cabin down here, but... If there isn't, I might need to dig back down some more. Oh, damn. They are having a little war. Look at them go. A giant cave toad. Oh, poor toad. Yeah. I just want to lead them to it, really. There's no way I'm digging into that anytime soon. Now, it is almost um, gathering season. At that point, I probably will want to take a, a brief break from mining. say giving out more and more mining instructions yes yes I do okay I definitely feel like I need someone in that custom work detail if only to put down bloody yeah. you you can just do that for a bit I realize you want to cut um, gems. You will be able to cut more gems shortly. I mean, fair. You've done a really good job. Oh, God. There's still more. Oh, elm remains. Uh-oh. How did they get... How did those remains get there? Oh, elm. Not Ulm? Ulm is Ulm. Hmm. How did that get there? That's concerning. Um, excuse me. Did we... Uh, what happened to the... Excuse me, friend. Um, question. Did something collapse on you? Okay, he can't get back up, even though it looked like he can't. Ooh, that's concerning. I hope that still means that we're... But where did the other... Did it collapse? Can it collapse? Okay. I feel like I was putting a stairway there. Oh, unless he didn't actually build the stairway. No, he did. He did. There is definitely a stairway there. It just isn't showing it there. Okay, fair enough. I mean, he's out and he's not dead. That's um, a fairly good sign, though. 
I do hope that um, my plan of having everything entirely work closed up actually works in this game. It it did when I was playing on the on the other mode, but really all I did was add um, embark options. So it's not like all right, I think it's time to free some of the um, the miners. There you go. You can do other things now. Like, hopefully, build the still. You know? We kind of need some drink. I think you guys actually die without without drink. This would be a very embarrassing way to go. I also don't know if that guy's actually he's drinking at the moment. Right, let's just follow this guy and see if he's actually doing his job. There's no job. Okay, maybe I need furniture hauling. That might be what I need to do. Block hauling and furniture hauling. That's fine. I always was curious because usually I just use that for forcing people to do um, roads, not forcing them to do this. So what we'll say now is we'll say, okay, you are allowed to haul um, stone and... No, not, not everything. Just stone and furniture. So does this mean you will actually go and construct building? Perfect. Did you just... Okay. Oh, you're... Oh, you're checking the furniture, of course. Good, that'll make people sh show... Uh, s show their... Like, be there more frequently, so that should help anyway. Yeah, give people their beds. They deserve it. Sort of. Questioning myself. Guess the other reason Dwarf Fortress doesn't have a speed up function is because at the moment it's running at full speed. I was wondering why are all my dwarves going really slow and it turned out, ooh, I got more people. Well, that's good news. Well, we've got six bedrooms set up already with another two down here that we can set into bedrooms. So that's eight. So we're actually very close to having enough people, not enough rooms for everyone. Which is good. Do I have any more beds? No, must need to build some more. Well, we'll build them separately. You, the barrels are probably... Eh, I'd say we... Yeah, we know. No, I think we need an, an infinite number of barrels. And bins, actually. I wouldn't mind some bins either. Bins are not what they sound like. Um... I mean, they are what they sound like, but they're, they're bins for resources, not just for, like, throwing stuff out. So, much more useful than I was expecting them to be, to be honest. Oh, God. There are so many resources, like, right there. That is the largest chunk. Anyway, if they could find a route to us, we wouldn't just see a corpse. We'd see a, a hurt dwarves, and B... And B, we'd see some. I'm gonna go deeper. Ooh, never mind. I mean, we will go deeper, but that's a bunch of malachite. All right, let's try going down a little. A, we'd see um, wounded dwarves, and B, they'd just attack us. Like, there's no. They're they're not exactly. Yeah. I hope. I did include a cook, didn't I? It's very possible my cook is also a miner. Let's go see what these guys actually can do. So, skills. Gem cutter, gem setter, beekeeper. Well, it won't be you that's holding us up. Butcher. Well, you make the butcher, but we don't really need the butcher the second, so it's not, not you either, to be honest. Oh, well. There's a lot of people who could help us right now. Not just the door door guy. 
Let's see what we got though. So let's look at our same four miners. We have another person who could be a woodcutter. We don't have any hunters. We have one planter, but everyone can do that anyway. We have one fish dwarf who's already doing it. We have a few herbalists, but everyone does that. At the moment, I will actually end up forcing it come um, when the um, troops start to fall. Stone cutters, we can set a stone cutter. For eventual forcing, yes. See, even if it even if you got everyone to do this, you'd still force people to do just their own jobs. Which is why I still do select them. I really wish you'd construct more than just the doors. Don't get me wrong, you're doing a good job. Like, you're doing a fantastic job. For a 60 year old, you're very sprightly. I don't know if that's young or old for dwarves, but still. But you have ran out of buildings to construct now. So. Oh, no, you haven't. Oh, God, he's just storing items in stock bar now. Where are you going? We need a cook, clearly. I thought we had one. Oh, damn. Just moving crap all over the place. Which, to be fair, is what I said to him to do, but I was hoping he'd build. find out who our, who our cook is and make sure they're not doing anything else. So. Hi. Guess what I got one. Hi. Oh yeah. I got a made one that was just pr primarily just talking. In hindsight, probably not the most important thing. <sighs> Can I force construction of something? Like, yeah, construct building, construct building. How do I force that? What if I resume and continue this building? Will it, will it um, pop it up to top people's radar if I do that? Maybe I just gotta take away all other jobs. So no more bins, no more barrels. After those two beds are done, you're done. No more gem setting. Someone has to build these. Unless I completely cancel their construction. Close this material. Like, even the fisherman, the fishery guy, doesn't realize his fish actually need to be, you know, dealt with, right? Like, he, you'd think he'd, he'd get it. Okay, honestly, guys, you do not deserve your time here. Just, just saying, you do not deserve it here. You, you, you're just, like, relaxing and having a great old time. These people even apparently have no, no, they have no job once their mining's done. Okay, fair. And those people, that, that, can, that actually makes a lot of sense, but that's okay. Let's see uh, if we've dug any deep. Oh, wow, it's still going down, huh? It's still getting a bunch of resources. Oh, I've never, don't think I've actually been down this low. I usually, I last couple of times I found the lava layer by now. Oh, well, let's keep going. I'll have to come across it soon, right? If not lava layer, at least the um the purple lichen dungeon. Ooh. <gasps> oh. 
I can set priorities of tiles. Can I do that for the kitchen? Damn it. No, it must just be for mining. That's a shame. Ooh. Ooh. Auto. Dig only ore and gems. And auto mine any ore and gems sent up without are uncovered. Oh. That's cool. I can make them auto mine. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? I might actually turn that on. And they dig out the whole, uh, the whole lot, which would be quite useful, I think. Well, auto. Yeah, so now when it finds things, it should automatically dig them out, I hope. Like, it found that blue garnet, so will it dig it out? Now, it should be said, do they also dig cavern walls? Because if so... Oh shoot. Okay, hold it. Okay, let's turn off auto um, at the moment. Alright, we're still surprisingly... Actually, that's a lot of water. Okay. Looks like we dug directly into what appears to be open space. No, it's open space. Oh, how high up are we? Holy hell. It goes all the way down to... Damn. That is one hell of a massive cavern. Although, it is the one I'm looking for, clearly. Alright, well, um... Okay. Not horrible. Not horrible. Huh. Actually, is auto mining already. Okay. So I thought I turned off that. Oh well. As long as you don't dig into it, I'm guess I'm okay with that. Which you could do there. Hmm. Can I say I do not mine? Ah, here we go. No, sorry, I want to do the opposite of that. I want to set a... Hmm. It seems like it could be a dangerous idea, to be honest. Alright. Well, for now, we still need to dig this across. Dig this across. Oh, okay. It's not auto-mining everything, but it is auto-mining a lot. Okay, here's the, here's the question. Okay, you know, that's... A little bit too close for comfort. I think that auto mining sounds very dangerous. How do I turn it off then? Ah, at that. First things first, we have two things we need to worry about. So, we build a wall here, like so. Well, they're still mining that out, even though I told them not to. Excuse me. I mean, it doesn't matter much here, but if you did that on the upper floors, we'd be screwed. I mean, it is very useful, I will say, having them automatically mined it out. But no, no, please stop. Oh God, it's happening again. Um, How do I get them to stop auto mining? Stop. Stop.
Okay, we have got builders. They'll be able to finish that, I hope. Alright, so, first of all, is this safe enough to go down? It will be, but not forever. Hmm. It'll be safe enough to make our uh, little area, our thing though. So, we'll build staircase going downwards there. Huh. Oh yeah, because I can't reach it. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Staircase. Which means I can now build a floor right here. Perfect. Well, that blocks that back out, but I might want to check the entire route again, make sure they didn't do any auto mining in places they shouldn't have, like right there. And we gotta hope we don't find anything terrifying and evil coming up as yet. Oh. Uh. Fascinating. Still, I think it's weird, but, you know. Definitely does make uh, mining a little bit interesting. All right, let's go back up and make sure they didn't do anything to get into these areas we didn't want. I mean, everything's looking pretty safe. We still don't have any food or drink. This is concerning. I could have sworn I did make a brewer on my team. Are, are you shitting me? Did I not make a brewer on my team? Dancer. Musician. Guy is mostly useless. It's probably. Did I seriously not select a cooking person? Because I could have sworn I did. The animal dude, yeah, I remember you. Okay, I'm starting to have a slight disturbed thought that maybe I didn't get a cook, which I could have sworn I did. Oh, if you... Is it the... Uh-oh. Could have sworn I asked for a cook. Did I accidentally deselect it? There's a brewer. Rusty. Well, I got a way you can get better. Oh, I can't believe it. Did I not get a cook? This is bad. Okay. This is not good at all. Plant gatherer. I like only selected to do this right now. I don't want anyone collecting plants for just a few seconds. This will hopefully encourage someone to maybe go down and build either the brewery, the kitchen, or both. should be a way to give priority to buildings. No one wants to cook, that's their problem. This 
it's just these people are just not doing anything. They're sleeping, okay? They're just sleeping outside. I know they were gathering plants. Come on, someone build at least a brewery. Like food, we got plenty of. We need this brewery. Oh, come on, guys! The worst part is this is actually a really good save to start so far. I haven't ran into anything horrible. This means some great buildings around. Oh god. I mean the cart's coming. Do I really wanna Do I really want? Oh. You have finally it's a fishery. That's what it's finally building, the fishery. Yeah, but without the... You do realize without the fishery, you have the... Okay, I'm going to the kitchens. About time! God damn it, guys. How did it take you that long? Who is this person? Why are they doing it? They're the brewer. This one I also made you a, a, a kitchen hand, but anyway. Oh well, I can force someone to do it now it's there, which is good. Well, you're already doing that, which means I can probably open up gathering to everyone. Once is enough drink. Hmm, at the moment I might actually force someone else to do some cooking, some brewing. And I might force someone to do some... I'd also force some people to do some cooking if they don't do it themselves. Oh, looks like they are. Ugh. Everything was going so nicely, too. they're finally actually caring about their ability to live which is a positive at least uh, let's see if those beds got finished those are people who just joined us they did beautiful we've now got 12 beds and 10 people so that's nice I've got to turn back on gathering though unfortunately um, weird that the gathering unless I do just Designate people. For now. Just until we got a little bit of drink under our belt. We also definitely need some more beds, so. And we always need, we also need some mugs and stuff. Could you make some mugs? Or is that the other guy? Wood? Actually, no, not wood. Stone. We've got so much more stone. Rock. Mug. Make infinite rock mugs. And make a couple more beds, because we still need, what, six more? And another door, I think, because I don't think we actually have another door for this one. No, so we'll see a door, please. Wonder if doors use the same amount of stone as um. Yeah, well, if you don't have anything else to do, you just do all do doors. It's fine. We've now got drink again, so that's the most important thing. Also, what did we just find? A stray donkey is starved to death, and he had to do it inside the house, didn't he? God. Let's go see if we can try and continue to work out how we're going to save ourselves from dying a slow, painful death in the caverns. So, that has been caverned out, which is good. Well, apparently, there's also been a collapse. Or it just never has been mined. 
Oh, it's right. Never mind, because it won't. It will dig only what I tell it to dig at the moment. That's fine then. All right. Now we've got to find a place we can get all the way down past this entire dungeon without dying. Close, close. How about here? Okay. Looking like that's the spot right there. Or a spot. May not be the spot, but it's, it's a good enough, it's a good spot as any. Double checking I got the right spot. Yes, I did. Oh. Damn it. I was a lot lower or higher than I remembered being. Okay, that's fine. Right there. And then that can go all the way down. Now it should be said, we probably don't want to go all the way down. I mean, there's, if there's lava under there, we do. But I'd probably get a little bit higher on my lava um, deposit. I mean, we don't really have much to trade, but I think we'll make it through the winter. It's just fine. Hi there, friend. Oh shoot, I actually forgot to build a a place for you to, to set up shop, didn't I? There you go. Not that it really matters. We've probably only got some gems to sell, I suppose. I suppose we sell the gems we've been making. He has been cutting a lot of gems, let's be honest. Now, autumn does, however, mean, and this is an important thing, ah, and as we can see, we've already started um, collecting some of it, means we're going to get a boatload of fruit. So we're probably going to want to put everyone on um, gathering as well, again, and force one gatherer, because yeah, you can be a force gatherer and everyone can do this. We want to get as many of these things before winter as possible. Okay, we don't really need much at the moment. So I'm not probably going to ask for anything. I'll, I like the random selection anyway. They want water skins and meat. Well, meat is kind of a hard one because it goes off very quickly. Water skins, leather. I mean, they could go together, but um, only if I can actually... Anyway, it's fine. Where's that native gold you were talking about? Ah, very nice. I'm definitely going to take a bunch of that. I think what I'll do is once I've actually safely like walled off all the bad parts of the cavern, like, I might double wall parts of it, and then I might just be able to, um, to turn on auto mine again. I don't see any, like, well defined pillars that would indicate lava. Maybe this one, but it's not red, it's not overly gemmed. It's generally going to be red and overly gemmed to be the one I'm looking for. Or a one like that. Hopefully there even is a magma sea under this. Because, um, yeah, I, I like that. But do I want... Is it really a good idea? I'm trying to play super safe. Doesn't feel super safe. But, okay. Keep going down. I've never made it down this low before. I'm kind of curious how far I can... Oh, that's how far. Okay, maybe don't go down that far then. Let's just go to level 115 and we probably won't make it that far, I'm assuming.
eventually you reach a point where there's so much lava that you've got to, yeah, give up. Apparently not yet. What the hell? Maybe it doesn't appear on every map. Fine, we'll go down to the very bottom. If there's no lava, though, that's kind of a bummer, really. I guess it means we'll have plenty of mining space, but I was kind of hoping for the... Um, I had a lovely setup in my last area that was, like, all the mining I could do. Hey, we got more pops! Oh, we got more pops. Oh dear, we got more pops. I need to build more more bedrooms now. However, it does mean that with every um, every step we take, every move we make, anyway, um, it'll be okay. Alright, so we're getting fruit and veggies, so that's good. We currently have 12, we need 18, we've got space for 20, so that's good. So realistically, as long as he's, he makes more beds pretty quickly, we should be fine. In fact, I'm pretty certain I asked for six more beds, didn't I? Well then, that's just, oh. I mean, it is still perfect. It's enough. It's actually a little bit over. So it's not like perfect, perfect. But you get the idea. And then I can put doors down. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, I can even door up my main entryway. Hmm. Such a door dorific place. I mean, I probably do have enough doors now. So, we can probably stop the doors. I actually might change to... I might change to... Cabinets for a bit. So I can start sprucing up the joint, you know? And... Chess. Perfect. But this does mean it doesn't look like we have any lava in this area. Which I guess is a good thing for mining, but um, not so much for everything else we're doing. Because I was really hoping for lava. Okay, we still got a few more. We still got a little bit. Oh, actually. Oh, you look at that. That caved in. Which is a sign it might have reached a lava layer. And for where the lava is, well, that, that takes some time. So, first of all, we need to confirm we found what we found. Okay? So, do that. We'll dig out the bottom. And we'll see what's below us. If it's lava, yay! If it's anything, if it's just magma flow, basically we want to dig around until we find a hot wall, which won't take too long, and then go up a layer and dig around and see if we can find out where the actual lava is. So, it should be well. We should also look at our new jobs and see if we've got any more specific things we can do. So, miners. I mean, we have one more miner, actually. He doesn't have a pick, so we'll have to buy a pick or build a pick at some point. But, you know, apart from that, we're good. Um, Woodcutter-wise, we have one inadequate woodcutter, but I don't think we've actually got a spare axe for you either, so... Okay, fair. We actually got a second stone cutter. Oh, that's the main guy. Never mind, he's not in the second one. Alright. We can also put a few people on the building duty. We've got a lot of weaponsmiths. Some farmers and a miner. Hmm. Alright, let's just make do a few things here. We don't care about corpses. Corpses are something we should throw out because we can't really do much with them. We might keep the skull bones and skulls as we use them. I don't. Hair and wool, I guess, yeah. Alright. Hey, we even have a kid. 
last kid I had died horribly. Ooh, gems. I'll take the zircon. Okay, now the question will become, did we just dig into um, a lava territory or is it just like unsafe rock? Oh, there's a lot of gold here though. At least there's a lot of gold here. Alright. Not seeing many things which would suggest lava. There's no volcanic rock down here. So it might just gone very unlucky. I mean, it's it's okay. So we find some coal or something. Aha! Semi-molten rock. He won't mind that. Okay, so we do have lava somewhere. Oh, wait, wait just, that's semi-molten. So that's actually mine the semi-molten. Okay, this is fine. So we'll go up one, and then dig over there. Hoping we'll find where the lava is, if there is any. It is a little bit dangerous, um, but if we build our smith over top of it straight away, it should be fine. I really don't know how we can get people to actually care for those animals. I even purposely went out of my way to hire a animal carer. Yep, see magma flow. So it definitely is lava down here. Oh, this is the exact opposite problem I was having in the last game. In the last game, I found caverns everywhere. And I found lava everywhere. In this game, I'm finding no lava, no caverns. And it's kind of a bit of a pain in its own way. So, oh well. Is that coal? Is that a jet? Carbonite again. Okay. Yeah, if we don't find coal either, that's going to make it very difficult to um, smelt with just wood. Oh well. I think we're in a fine position at the moment. Oh uh, yeah, never did actually talk to those merchants in the end. Why do you have no job? You should totally have a job. You've got mining to do. Why are none of the miners mining? Even the good ones. Uh, well, they did get up, so it's not like it closed on them or anything. Honestly, this place is looking great. Might be a good place to stop, to be honest. We've had we have a good setup and nothing's gone terribly wrong yet. So uh yeah. Might be a good place to end. Ooh if I do continue recording this, which I'm hoping I will, it'll probably i I'll probably wait a little bit and finish a bit of what I'm trying to do. I'll come back if I get lava or anything, but um, at the moment, I think we should be good. I kind of just want to get a boatload of um, stuff I can mine. I'm smelt eventually. Because if I do find lava... Oh, this is the most weird looking place I've gotten so far. This is great. Oh, look at all that... Look at all that beautiful gold we've got. Wish it was a don't dig into caverns button. That'd be a nice one to press, like, all the time. Haha! -ha! Look at that. Semi molten rock once again. So, we go up again. Because, quite frankly, we don't actually want to be at the very lowest level with this lava. 
We just want to find it, where it is. Without, you know, killing everyone. Killing everyone is generally not the preference in this game. Although, it should be said, a lot of people call that the fun of the game. I'm like, well, yeah, maybe, but... I much prefer... Ooh, there we go. Now that's good. Because that, right there, is normal wall. It has lava-like properties. Which means we're getting closer to actually finding... It's because we actually want to find the very top of the lava field. We don't want to dig into it. That's such a go about saying. Now, the more we have on top of us, the less likelihood that we'll get terrible things coming and killing us before we set up our mines. I don't know if they come after we set up the mines, but you know. Oh, there we go. So we know it's here. That's fine. Thankfully they do not dig into that. That's okay. Because we're up here now. And we're gonna go up here again. And keep looking and we'll keep going up until we find it. Honestly, when we do find the lava ocean, it's going to be really quite funny because we'll see how big it is. It's probably everywhere around us except for the location we're currently in. And there may not even actually be lava in there, but I'm thinking it is because it's a pretty large chunk of heat. Oh, shoot. They have already came up through the floor. That's not great news. All right, well, if that's the case. I should put a floor down. We already worked out that um, we can actually walk up these. I'll just lock them down there. I need to get all that stuff. I mean, I assume they're dangerous. I've never been down this deep before to have them spawn, so. Spill that, Gabbro, please. Well, they're still fighting. doesn't know I'm here, so he probably won't come up. He's got no reason to. Seems like he can just go for the rocks, though. Which is a little concerning, I do have to admit. They don't seem to be overly aggressive, at least, so that's a, that's a positive. And all my miners are still alive. It's fine. We did have someone on that work order that allows them to um, build things. We should get them to do it. So, guess what? You're no longer a stone cutter because I just want you to build. So, uh oh. How's this all? What are you trying to get? Just leave it behind, whatever it is. I don't care. Just leave it behind. I think we will have to build a secondary thing down just in case. But I'd much rather you don't go down there at all, okay? What is my building guy doing? You know, the guy whose only job is to build stuff. He's storing items in stockpile. Okay, to be fair, I did also give him the ability to do that. So I'll need to take that away for a short while. So no more hauling duties for you. So I just want you to come down and 
hopefully defend us from the fire snakes. God. Don't know which way they're going. That's the worst part of all. The higher we can get the lava, the better. I think. Oh, fudge. You stole one of my wheelbarrows. Rude. Alright. Speaking of wheelbarrows. Are you using wheelbarrow to build? Okay, he is constructing and he is coming the right way. Good. Let's watch him do his job. Ugh, I don't get paid enough for this. Wait, why are you taking rocks down there? I just said, oh, you're building that one. Okay, I mean, fair. But why are you... Were they the closest rocks when I issued the order or something? Okay, okay, this is fine. Thank you. I, I'm very happy that you're doing this. But... These weren't exactly the walls I had in mind when I said build the walls or the floors. There we go. Wait, what? Bloody hell. It's going to end this episode, but then we dug directly into Lava Beasts. Has anyone fought any Lava Beasts yet? No, it's still the giant toads fighting. Oh, don't you even. Resume construction, please. You just need to pick it up and build with it. Okay, the miners apparently have no job, so I better get them something else to do. Ooh, might get that gold. And... Okay. Okay, we're above the lava now, and we don't have the lava thing. So we'll dig out this whole area here, and A, see if we run to any more lava, and B, well, hopefully find ourselves a good spot for a lava forge. fine but how about a friendly neighborhood builder who has literally one job thank you construct building yes you do have that job wait what okay you go in there okay. that's the way people go to my minds fair enough I wouldn't want to walk around the, the hill either then again I think walking around the hill would probably be more pleasant finished yet <laughs> this is dwarfs invasion I'm impatient come on dude even when he got his own mug and he didn't drink at the bloody okay I guess it's not a tavern yet, which probably means that he can't do it. I'll have to make it into a tavern so he can. You have a job. It's called finishing that that floor. Unless you already did. I didn't actually see if he finished it or not. A 
I shouldn't be too angry with him if I haven't checked to see if he's actually done the job or not. Or did he just suspend it again because of it having stuff in the way? He built one and he suspended the other. Come on, dude. 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 You have one job, literally one job in the whole world right now. Until it gives you engraving. <laughs> oh, you're unhappy. All right, now I'll give you the engraving job. Just, I know, I know. that You don't need to say thank you all at once. The stone cutting job. There you go, bud. You got a job again. Don't you feel satisfied? All right. Now, let's see if we can find some lava. Okay. So, looks like, A, we can mine at this whole level. Which is quite good. And B, I'm thinking there might be some lava here. So I'm going to build a channel. And hopefully, we'll head into lava. But I want to be ready to build the um, magma forge first. So, got to dig out more of this area first. In fact, I might just uh, drop most of these job orders for now. We know it's going to be somewhere in this area. Oh, shoot. I guess we're too close to the... I mean, it's fine. That one's pretty far away from us. I don't know how aggressive these these fire snakes are anyway, so... Let's find out. They always say Dwarf Fortress is a wiki game. Fireproof vermin. So this vermin. Not even monsters. They may start fires. Fortunately, a cat will handily kill them. Well, good. Then that's not too terrible at all. We're not going to go down that deep anyway. So, here's the thing. There has to be, hopefully, some lava right here. So, I'm going to build a small channel there. Ideally, we want to find multiple bits of lava because we're going to be using it multiple times. The most important thing we need, though, is a magma smelter. Because without it, we can't do anything else. We can technically do the forging without magma. It just does require a little bit of coal. But I think that being able to smelt is really important. Because as you know, he who smelt it, well and truly, dealt it. Damn it. What is microline? Oh, damn it. Is it just hot and not actually? Then we have to look around, aren't we? All right. Well, it's got to be here somewhere. There is definitely meant to be lava here. Because we're seeing the lava snakes just dig all over the place. They're not even filling back in. Well, this is frustrating. There has definitely got to be lava down here somewhere, surely. Okay. Guess we're going to have to do the great lava hunt. It does, however, mean that we should be safe in uh, harvesting these, right? 
Once again, it's like a little bit of, um... A bit of Minesweeper. Well, okay then. Definitely no lava. Oh well, plenty of gold. Hmm. All right, we'll have to build another floor here, I reckon. Let's build floors where we've actually tried it already. But it is probably not a bad idea, I think, to do this. Alright, so I guess that'll be next episode's thing. Trying to find lava. And of course, make sure we don't die in other ways. We've um, stabilized our economy. We've got a fairly nice starting um, homestead, which uh, we can go have a look at now. Like, I mean, realistically, 18 people already. It's a pretty deep mine, but look at them all. I think it's going pretty well, really. Um, we are going to be starting to make our lives, their lives a little bit better soon as well. So we did just build a few chests and things. We'll build a few more. There we go. Got tons of cabinets, so everyone can have a cabinet. Am I not merciful? Giving you all amazing cabinets. Tell them what they've won. You've won a fine cabinet. Each one handcrafted by, well, you guys. Honestly, I did pretty much nothing. Besides tell you what to do, and most of the time you didn't listen to me. Alright, we're going to make this into an inn as well before I forget. So, we're going to make a new tavern slash inn. And we're going to assign this meeting area to the tavern slash inn. And then we're going to give a tavern keeper. And a performer if we can afford it. There we go. Perfect. Ah, good. Now that means that um, the tavern keeper will deal with uh, putting uh, rocks down. Uh, the, the cups down. So we should be good in that regards. So yeah, I'll see you next time. It's been Dwarf Fortress. Goodbye.